Alright, I stopped off today and picked up all the metal to start the fence design. Uh, went a little larger than I probably needed to. I got 3 16 wall, but that's just so I can drill holes and uh, tap into it without it coming apart. So I'll go over a quick diagram of what the fence is going to look like. Here I've drawn up a quick diagram of, of what the fence is going to look like. Uh, we have the table saw here, angle iron, box beam and then the main fence which is going to be bolted to two little pieces of angle iron. Um, they ride on top of this box beam on two little spacers and the spacers I'm either going to make out of some Teflon, I also have some UHMW plastic and uh, some HDPE. Either would work. Cutting board I'm pretty sure is HDPE um, but I have a few to choose from so I'll see what I want to use for that. Um, the front has little shims uh, with with uh, set screws behind them to square the fence perfectly. It's a Bismeyer fence principle. You can look it up on on Google. There's many people built them, designed them, and a lot of clear diagrams online. Uh, I don't or on this I haven't designed a cam lock for it just yet. Right now I just I'm just gonna have a bolt with a big kind of knurled hand screw on it, so I can just all it's meant to do is just pull this tight against the fence to square everything together. Um, if everything works out fine, then I'll get fancy and put a nice cam locking handle on it. But for now, this should work more than adequately. So this was just to get all my measurements, you know, close, so I could see where I had to make my changes. Obviously, this had to come closer because that's not near enough overlap when I'm gonna be bolting through there. And uh, so I'll start uh, laying out stuff and bolting it to the table, and we'll come back shortly. All right, here's the progress on the fence. I started by drilling a hole on one side of this angle and then uh, running the bolt, of course, right into the uh, studs where I can't get a nut on the back, but that's okay because I was just there to hold it so I could get the other end aligned. And then what I did is I went over here to this end and uh, clamped it in the center here so it would be at the height I wanted and I leveled it all along here so it's it's right flush with this table which is I believe a half inch drop so that was what I designed for and then I uh, started drilling holes in my table here and I'm gonna put one two three more bolts in there I'm just waiting for the battery to charge and I'm not gonna put any in the wing because there's too much hardware beneath it to support the uh, um, sliding mechanism there and plus it's not that big of a structural component to be bolting into I am going to go crazy with the bolts into the uh, frame here though as I have a lot more meat to bolt into and I can put you know bolts clean through and, and really put a lot of tension on this because that big piece of a 2 by 3 inch box beam isn't light and I want it to have something really stout to hold against so that should work well. I'm not sure if you can see down the rail but I do have a slight bow to the left. And I got the clamp pulled tight so I can see what it's see what it's like. So I'm gonna have to shim that end out. I have two washers on that far end right now. I'm gonna have to shim it just maybe a bit for like half a washer. And uh and that'll be about perfect when this end is, is bolted tight. So we'll carry on. Alright, I put quite a few more bolts than I intended to put into it, but uh came out nice and rigid. Uh where I could I always put two about half inch from either side until I got to the saw. Once I got to the saw, the casting wasn't large enough for me to put two, so I had to put singles in. Um, I did end up putting one in that leaf, even though I, I didn't plan on it. I figured it it needed it. So uh, it's really solid. Here, it's solid, but it's not nearly as strong as this part, just because this has doubled in it, so it's not going to flex. Um, I'll give you a shot down the length so you can see how uh, how straight it turned out. So hopefully you can tell from this angle, you'll see that I had to use two washers as shims basically to uh, make this edge line perfectly with this continuation. Um, it's not imperative that this rail be dead, dead square because you're putting the giant box beam on it, which will be square. And then you can just line it up. But I figured if I'm bolting it on, I may as well bolt it on as square as I possibly can. So I pulled, the metal had a slight amount of warp to it, maybe uh 16th over its entire length. I think it was a 76 inch span. So uh, how it bolted up, it's 
almost arrow straight. Just a slight detectable amount of bend, but that's going to be no issue once we bolt the box on. As you can see, we got most of the vents put together now, or the important parts all bolted to the stand. I'll show you underneath here. I uh, drilled and tapped this box beam to fit the bolts from the bottom. So the bolts come through the angle iron and then are secured in there because there's no way you're going to get let's see if I can get a shot down this length there. There's no way you're going to get a nut way in the inside without a great deal of trouble so it's much easier to use a thicker box beam and tap it and then run the bolts in from the bottom. While I was trying to adjust the, the uh, fence uniformly so that I'd have enough room for um, the other part of the length or angle iron to slide through I used some shims so I had these big thick pieces of uh, acrylic these are half inch thick pieces of acrylic and I just slid them between here and I slid one down on the far end and then I adjusted the fence so it met up with both those and snuggled the bolts up on the bottom and that way I have a uniform distance across it as I know these two pieces are uniform. Here I found it was a good idea not to bolt that tabletop down yet because I was working behind that a ton and uh, just by being lazy and not finishing the table it turned out really good because it gave me great access to bolt the fence on so if I were to make any suggestion I would say do that first before finalizing the table and bolting it all together. Uh, just a general measurement here I figured I'd post them. Uh, the fence itself is 76 inches long. Uh, the table is 75 inches. Uh, well, the saw ends at 73, but the actual table ends at 75. Uh, I did that, I added to 76 because I plan on sheeting both sides with half inch. You'll notice this side hangs over quite a bit, and that's to accommodate the half inch sheet that's going to come up, and it'll you know, meet up perfectly here, and then you'll have a nice clean edge. And the same on the other side once I sheet it with half inch. Uh, the overall length of this is 36, and the overall height to the top of the table is just over 36. So those are the uh, main dimensions. Everything else can be in the SketchUp file, but I'll uh, finish buying the materials to complete the fence, and um, we should hopefully wrap this up in one last part, and then we'll have a working saw.